Greetings and welcome to another episode of Caring for You with me, Dr. Temostro. In this episode, we are going to look at an autoimmune disease. We are going to look at lupus. But what is lupus? Lupus is an autoimmune disease that affects the whole body. But what does autoimmune disease mean? It means that the body's immune system the system that is responsible for killing cancer cells and fighting off infections turn against the body and start to attack it and destroy it. So I want you to imagine with me for a second that there is an army that is set up to protect a country from bad actors both outside and within. Imagine that army is the immune system. What if that army were to turn against the citizens of the country that it is supposed to protect? You can imagine that that country will be destroyed. In the same way, the immune system that is supposed to protect the body, when it turns against the body, it begins its destruction. So, what causes lupus? We don't know what causes lupus. But the immune system is suspected to be triggered by hormonal changes, environmental factors, infectious factors, toxins, or whatever the cause is, we know that it causes destruction to the body. What are the common symptoms of lupus? We can look at it from a top-down perspective. It literally affects from the crown of the head to the sole of the feet. You can lose your hair. You can have your eyes affected with inflammation. It can affect the mouth and cause ulcers or sores. It can affect the lungs and cause inflammation of the lungs. It can lead to blood clots, fluid in the lungs. It can affect the heart. It can cause heart attack. It can affect the heart itself, the sac around the heart. It can affect the gastrointestinal tract, that's the stomach and the intestines. It can affect the, the kidneys. Many persons with lupus die from kidney failure. It can affect the reproductive tract. Many women with lupus, they have multiple pregnancy losses or miscarriages. It can affect the lower extremities and can cause what we just discuss blood clots, but it can cause rashes and joint pain and joint swelling. It can affect the brain and cause anxiety and depression and even psychosis, what we term uh, craziness. And so it can affect any part of the body. What are the symptoms of lupus? They go in accordance to what I just described with respect to the areas of the body that are so the patient who is normally a fertile black female between 15 and 44 would have weakness, tiredness, joint pain, skin rash, anxiety, depression, can have multiple symptoms as a result. But how is it diagnosed? That is the key. Sometimes doing a diagnosis is very difficult, but it's a combination of all those physical manifestations that I just discussed and blood work. The blood work can be quite expensive, but together the doctor can reach a diagnosis. So there are 11 criteria, and 4 out of 11 throughout your life can help to reach a diagnosis of lupus. But once you diagnose lupus, the question is asked, what can be done? First, let me say that this is not a death sentence at all because there is good treatment now for lupus. So you can either see an internist or a rheumatologist. A rheumatologist is an internist, a doctor who specializes in diseases like lupus and all other autoimmune diseases. And so, when it is diagnosed and treatment to begin, the fundamental of the treatment is something we call hydroxychloroquine. What is hydroxychloroquine? It is a drug that, you use, that is also used to treat malaria. 
but we know that it helps you because especially the joint pain and the, and the, the skin rashes and so forth. It's a fundamental part in the treatment of lupus. You can also use steroids, but we try to get the patient off of steroids as soon as possible. And there are other drugs that suppresses that other that suppress the immune system that really is also fundamental in the treatment of lupus. But apart from medication, lifestyle changes are important. A healthy diet and exercise can go a long way in alleviating the symptoms that come with lupus. But what are the complications that people suffer? The complications can be one blood clots, two heart attacks, sudden death, stroke, kidney failure, infections that can really cause serious damage. And so the objective is to treat and to prevent these complications. So I want you to be armed with the necessary information to protect you, your family, and your community. Thank you for joining us once again for another episode of Caring for You.